Um, I'm just editing this now and I realise I spend most of the video like this. Like, you know, tweaking at my fringe. So just ignore that. I was still getting used to it and um, I'm obsessed with looking at myself. So just enjoy it. Oh, guys. My hair is really just being unique today. Um, Big Love is the next one I read and I finished that on September 1st. I can't remember what that's like, so I'll look it up and I'll insert a clip. Um, I thought the book was good. I remember. It's just like a little chick flick. It's kind of sad, but it's like in a funny way. I thought it was good. Would recommend. And then I read Just Kids by Patty Smith and I finished that on September 13th. This was really good. Obviously, it's like famous for a reason. Like everyone has lose, lost their minds over it like two years ago. A bit late to it, like. It is crazy to believe that like that is real and she had she like all she she named name drops anyways but it's also crazy to believe that someone can actually survive like that and just like make their way in the world like that i feel like nowadays you would not be able to do that you know i feel like those communities and like ways of like just being successful don't exist anymore but i could be wrong because i don't live in new york um it's really good um it was crazy pretty sad but uh yeah, I've, people have said that, like, it's written quite pretentiously, but I didn't really get that. I just kind of got it as an accurate um, depiction of what um, their reality was and, like, what Patty's point of view of the world was and stuff like that. So, number 20 I read was Ariadne, um, and I finished that on October 5th, and this was recommended to me by David Smelly. Um and it was so great really radicalized me um uh, maybe really like i obviously knew it but it really highlights how like women are mistreated in greek mythology and how they kind of get like the brunt of it all in ancient greek greece and stuff like that um really good book though pretty freaking sad like so annoying the ending is like what why that's not fair i really enjoyed it i like kind of retelling of greek stories like that like i need to stop saying like but anyways uh two years ago i think i read song of achilles and i really enjoyed that so i kind of i enjoy retelling of greek mythology etc 21 book number 21 was heartburn and I finished that on October 20th. This is recommended to me by Martha Mazzy Star. This was really good. I really enjoyed this. It's quite a small book, but it, it still took me a little bit to read. It's basically from the point of view, the narrator, like the protagonist, she's eight months pregnant and she just found out her husband's having an affair in her and she has a child. Um, and so it's kind of going through the grief of going through a split up and heartbreak while pregnant and, and preparing for a baby but she is hilarious she says it in such a funny and entertaining way that I would forget like her situation and I'd be like laughing and then she'd be like oh yeah lol remember my husband had an affair me I'd be like whoa wait no <laughs> forgot about that because it's actually just funny um it was really good I really enjoyed it I'd never heard of this book before but it came out in like the 90s or something um, but I really like it. Book number 22 was Know My Name and I finished that October 23rd. I read that in three days which shows just how good it is. It's by Chanel Miller who is the girl that Brock Turner assaulted. Um, so it's her telling of the story and her side of things and um, her journey through it, um, through healing, through the court case and stuff like that devastating book amazing book like amazing so well written so heartbreak breaking and like we all know the flaws within um judicial judicial systems when it comes to like getting justice for sexual assault 
um but this like really just highlights how it is and in america especially we all know the justice system is wonkers um and this really shows as well you get really angry um and it's well yeah it's quite hard to read obviously because it's from the victim the victim's story of a uh, her assault um but amazing and i think everyone should read it book number 23 is the ballad of snakes and songbirds and i finished that november 2nd this i had a review written down for it so i should probably get that up because i think i articulated it better in this it's very in like it, it was a good book and i enjoyed it obviously it's a hunger games book so i enjoyed it i could not connect the snow we know from the like present day hunger game books and the snow from the prequel i couldn't merge them together a lot of people were saying oh it makes sense to see how he got it but the the snow in the prequel has way too much of a moral compass for me to be able to connect them together but it is interesting to see how it began i think the movie should have been in two parts um i don't think the movie really gets a lot of what you need to get um obviously movies never like display as much as a book does but i think the movie missed out on a lot of things um that the book explains and goes through especially like after the games and stuff like that i feel like the movie just kind of brushed over that really quickly book number 24 um i read was young mungo and that's i finished that november 10th i talked about young mungo in my video before christmas so i'm not going to talk too much about it now really good really difficult to read because like there's some abuse and stuff in it um but yeah kind of it's it's written like vernacularly vernacularly um from the glaswegian um accent so it's kind of like entertaining with that but it's heartbreaking book number 12 oh no book number 25 is girls will be girls by um emo too i think it is and I finished that December 12th. Guys, if there's one book that I would ever recommend to anyone from any of these books, it is this book. It's non-fiction and Emer is based, she's from Galway and she examines kind of female identity and gender identity and what well, being a woman and being a girl and being feminine means in kind of a modern day Irish context. And like that doesn't, I feel like that doesn't even describe what it is because it's just a fucking mind boggling book. Um, it's so good and I was eating this shit up and when I was eating it up, I like, I just was telling all my friends, I was like, you have to read this book. And I think I'll read it again, but it's so amazing. It delves into like the whole control and patriarchal um, side of beauty industry and how, you know, we may think that oh we're getting this plastic surgery because it's for me and my decision and that is a truth but another it is also a truth that it's a patriarchal um influence and it's a way of control and putting value putting women's value on their appearance and aesthetic um and it goes kind of through all that and also goes through like why can't we just have our boobs out like if a guy is too hot in the club he takes his shirt off why can i not take my shirt off and stuff like that and it just is really amazing and i want everyone to read it um especially girls because i it just has changed my life book number 26 i finished was no longer human and i finished this on december 15th this was recommended to me quite highly and i don't really get it i the, the the narrator is so wholly unlikable it's non-fiction like it's someone's actual diaries i think it said at the end like but the narrator is so wholly unlikable it's like what are you doing dog um i didn't really have any strong thoughts i kind of just read it and finished it and was like okay that's that's done now book number 27 was swimming in the dark and i finished that on december 23rd and that was the last book i read 
2023 um this book was amazing so good it's from the perspective of a university student during communist poland um uh when being gay was legal and it's just so amazing it's such a heartbreaking but fantastic book it has all all sides of things and it's crazy like what the hell you know uh really good um and really beautiful would would recommend to a friend 